What's up guys, this is Josh with Garcia Water Care and we are here in East El Paso. We are gonna test out one of our systems. We have an alkaline, uh, Alka Pure Micromax 7000 reverse osmosis hooked up under the sink here. And what we wanted to do is actually compare it with something that you guys can buy at the store. So at the corner store we bought this high pH water, it's Essentia, overachieving H2O. It's, it's, it boasts that it's at about 9.5 pH. We have an alkaline system here, so we're gonna compare to see what the difference is. So the, one, the first thing that we're gonna look at, you, can get, you guys can get a pH tester that range from 50 to about 200, or if you ever had, ever had a pool, you, you're probably familiar with this little uh, mechanism here. This is your calcium and pH tester. I'm sorry, chlorine and pH tester. So what we're gonna use here is we're gonna get an idea of the pH um, uh, value, first of all, with this Essentia uh, bottled water. So we're gonna test this out and we're gonna see how high the pH is. Now the way this works is the more red or purple uh, the color that comes out, it's a higher pH, it's alkaline. The more yellow it comes out, uh, that means that it's acidic. If you get regular bottled water, you're going to get it kind of like an orange or yellow. Right now, we're going to test this out, and it should come out kind of like towards the top end, this purple right here, or a little bit more purple, okay? So that's what we're going to test out real quick. So we fill this up. We're going to wash it out a little bit just to make sure we clean it out. We're gonna put five drops of this uh, phenol red. This is what you use to check the pH level. And we're gonna put five drops. And you'll see the you see it change a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna cover it up and then check out the color. So you'll notice the color. I don't know if you can catch that. It's it's almost like a purple, like a violet, which shows that the pH is very high. On the scale here, it's actually off the scale. The highest that it goes here is eight point two. And it looks like it's probably matching what it says here, the 9.5. So we're getting about 9.5. So let's test that with the system that we have installed here. So we're going to take this water out. Remember that color? Let's see if we can match that color. So we'll just wash it out real quick. And we'll go ahead and fill it up to the line. And again, we'll put those five drops and we'll see what color comes out. So we put five drops. Move it around just a tiny bit. And you'll notice that the color that's coming out is gonna be the same type of purple color. You see that color in there? It's actually, if anything, a little bit darker than the other one. So the other one was 9.5, this is gonna be right around the same. So that shows us the pH value. Now what we also wanna do is this is drinking water. So we wanna see what kind of quality of water that is. So we're gonna use what's called a TDS meter. This is specifically uh, designed for drinking water. This is not something for the whole house. This is something that you're gonna gauge how clean your water is coming out of a drinking system. So we're gonna look at the number that this pops up now. This is measured in parts per million um, and the TDS total dissolved solids typically for drinking water should be under 50. For purified water it should be from zero up to about 50. Now from 50 to 100 uh, parts per million, that TDS that, that designates uh, alkaline water. Anything above 100, 200, 300 parts per million in your water, you're looking at way too much stuff in your water, and that's when you want to get the water filtered out. So let's see what number this essentia uh, pops up. So we'll fill up this little cup here. Okay, we got it filled up. We're going to measure. I'm going to wash this off a little bit, and we'll see what number we get in here. So I'm going to lock in, and then I'll zoom in in a second. All right, so let's lock it in. Locked in at, can you see that number? 44. So 44 parts per million, that's very good drinking water. Anything under 50 is considered very good purified. For being alkaline water, they put more minerals in there. That number, that number normally shoots up. So right now we're looking at 44. Let's compare it to what we're getting in the sink. Okay, we'll wash it off a little bit. And here, I'm gonna turn it on. You notice right there, it's at about 43, I'm gonna hold it. What number do you see there? 43. So this is actually a little bit cleaner than the water that's coming out of this Essentia. So if you guys buy a lot of alkaline water, this one costs a couple of dollars. This system right here will produce over a thousand gallons of alkaline water before you gotta change out the filter. So if you guys are looking for alkaline water, you guys saw the test, you see that the quality is similar to what you buy at the corner store. 
except that this is gonna be BPA free. There's no plastics anywhere. This is something that's safe, certified, it's been tested. It's gonna give you the best alkaline water for you at your home.